So this is a, a simple application that I wrote a while ago using uh, React hooks to show how to create a, a hook to upload a file. Right now it just currently uploads a photo and dumps the data that it gets back from Firebase. What we're going to do here is we're going to integrate a video capture plugin and upload the video file to Firebase. So let's get started with um, loading in the necessary libraries. First we're going to use the Cordova plugin video capture. Um, and then next we need to install the Ionic Native portion of that. And then finally we need to install Ionic Native Core. All this stuff's listed in the notes for the video. Next we're gonna start with the home file. And we're just gonna add the buddy, uh, we're gonna add the button to take the video. And after that, um, let's add the associated function. We'll call it handle take video. Seems pretty obvious, similar to the handle take photo. And right now, we're just going to put some placeholder code in there until we get the uh, plugins in place. So let's just clean out this unnecessary stuff that we don't need anymore. And let's see, all right, let's move the buttons up right so it doesn't kind of look crazy like that. Let's first of all, let's split them up and get them next to each other. And now let's get them above the output that we're going to get back from uh, Firebase based on the file upload. This is the Video Capture Plus plugin that we're using. You can check it out with Ionic Native. Um, I just followed the instructions that are listed right there on how to install the plugin so that we can use it with React. Um, once again, that link will also be included in the um, notes and in the blog post. So make sure you check out the um, documentation. Now we're gonna have to run Ionic Capacitor Sync because we have to run this thing on device since we're using video camera. Um, we need to import the required types and, um, and functions from uh, Video Capture Plus. So there we have our imports. Now let's go down to our handle take video function, uh, which is a placeholder. And first let's uh, set up the options for the video capture. So uh, and let's, leverage, let's leverage the types we're getting from TypeScript. So let's use the limit uh, and we're gonna use duration and then we are going to wrap it up with um, making sure we get a high quality photo. It's one of the, I mean, high quality video. One of the main reasons we're using this plugin is to get the high quality that you get out of this plugin, which you don't get from the other ones. Since we're still in browser, we really can't do much other than um, actually do the capture and log out that we have basically lock the console that we have successfully got something as a response. Um, at, in a little bit here, we're gonna move over to device and then you'll see how that all works with live reload. So uh, video capture plus dot capture, a capture video returns a promise and the promise returns the results that we need. So we're gonna console log the results. Since this uh, can only work on device, we've switched over to running with the live reload. All right, so now let's start to add the code for um, copying over the file that we get into a blob so then we can pass it on to the Firebase hook to upload it to Firebase. So first we get the media file um, using the type that's specified and um, the media has a property on it called uh, full path. What we're gonna do is we're going to strip, we're gonna strip the name off the path and then we're gonna use Cordova um, file functionality to resolve the directory into something that uh, the mobile device likes, and then we're going to take that directory plus the name, read the file, convert the file to a blob, and pass that to my hook. So let's import the um, Cordova file plugins. And once again, this is wrapped with Ionic Native, so I, uh, it puts a nice wrapper around the Cordova plugin. So we have the file uh, plugin, the resolve directory URL method we're going to call. Um, as I stated earlier, we're going to do some string manipulation to just get the um, directory off the full path, remove the name from it, and pass that directory as path to this file resolve directory URL. Uh, we're using the substring method here. Uh, we're gonna look for the last slash and then take everything before the last slash and put that into path. And once again, then pass that to file resolve directory URL. So we have the code, a little bit of comments. Everyone likes to see comments every now and then. And let's pass it in. Let's fix my mic here. Okay, um, I've put this ridiculous hack on here right now where I'm just using this file colon colon in front if you're on um, iOS to make sure that it converts a directory properly, not necessarily on Android. I know there's another hack, I know there's a proper way to get this done, 
but for the purpose of the video, this hack works. It gets it in. Anybody knows it better. Anyone knows the right way to do it, feel free to leave a comment below. So, uh, as I said, we're resolving it to get a path that Cordova likes. Not Cordova. Yeah. Um, and then once we get the path, we can pass that path on to the to actually read the file and convert it to a blob. So this is all just kind of extra work to make the mobile device happy with the uh, path name that I've got. And by the way, it took me a while to figure this crap out. Okay, so now we have the resolve path. Let's pass that resolve path into the file open. Okay, so file, we're going to read the file, convert it to an array buffer, and take the array buffer and convert the array buffer to a blob. Uh, we have the name because the name was given to us. Let's um, make this call. It calls a promise. What gets returned from the promise is actually the buffer. We're going to be nice and just console log out the error for now. Okay, so name, we're going to call this thing the video blob, and the video blob will be instantiation of a blob object like I said passing an array buffer and then specifying the type we're also pulling the type from the uh, media object that we got from the video capture plugin just clean it up properly get rid of these errors okay that looks good let me just make sure you pass the buffer property in video blob now now let's actually do something with this thing on the uh, firebase hook it's triggered by a file by a method called set file data. Whenever that property changes, the hook calls the use effect inside and forces the, it's not forces, but starts the upload of the video or, or, or whatever blob data is passed in. So there you see it gets returned from the use Firebase upload hook. Okay. So everything looks good here. It's recompiling. Uh, this is an error that I had, so please forgive me. I hadn't, I, like I said, I didn't install the file plugin, so I had to go back and um, do a capacitor copy iOS and then um, basically sync everything back to the mobile device with the Ionic, with the Ionic Cap Sync iOS. So, okay. And as you can see, there's a file plugin and the file um, and the file video capture plugin, which were the two plugins that needed to be added to make this work properly. Now that we got everything running again properly, let's transition to our um, Firebase file upload hook and start to make the appropriate changes. So we're going to start inside of this um, setup method here. Currently, the uh, function is set up to just install uh, upload files or a data URL. What we're going to do is we're going to modify the the blob condition to check for a blob or uh, sorry, not the blob condition, a file condition to check for a file or a blob. And what we want what we want to do is we want to make sure we set up the name of the object that we're uploading and specify the pri proper extension on the name on the end of the name so that Firebase handles it properly and also when you download the file that it's handled properly. So we're just going to get the current time and use that as the base of the uh, file name. Um, so as you can see there, we, we just f name is the base file. We have our if condition, so we're going to do two diff two different things. If it's a blob, we're going to um, first of all check to see the type because if the type's QuickTime, we have to make sure that we set the um, extension to MOV. Otherwise, we can just split the uh, MIME type and get the extension from that. So that's what we're doing here with this. So the value type slash Split, we take the first, if the first part's QuickTime, then we know we need to set the extension to the file name to .mov. Otherwise, we just take the file name and we add on to the end of it the other token that we got from the split. Because that's, well, in the in, in, in this situation with iOS and with Android, it seems to be effective. If somebody finds a better way to handle this, once again, please leave a comment. But this worked for me because usually on iOS, I mean, sorry, not on iOS, usually on Android, the um, other token that we're getting from splitting the MIME type is MP4, which works properly as the extension to the file. So that's really what all this code is doing. A lot of code to just stick an extension on the end of a file. Okay. 
So a little bit of formatting and clean up here. What, what's going on up at the top here? I just need to do a recompile. I see some errors. Um, what's it not happy? Oh, it looks like I'm missing. Oh, I have some parentheses in the wrong place. All right, parentheses are corrected. Um, file name set properly, extension set properly. Let's change this from now since we're uploading video. Let's change the name of this to media instead of um, uh, images. And I think that's what we get. All right, now let's check it out on device. Everything good? Yep. Let's check it on device. Let's look at this other screen. And let's try and upload a movie and see what we get as a result. Okay. So this is, a, this is a, I'm recording my device. I'll find a better way to do this later, but I'm recording my device. I'm recording a video on my device. Um, looking at the video, I'm gonna accept the video. The progress bar shows the upload, and as you can see, the file got uploaded into Firebase. So everything worked as we expected it to work. However, I did notice that I was getting the incorrect extension because I was using the wrong part of the token. I need the second uh, token that comes back. So let's try this again. Let's upload another file. File is videos recording, uploaded. And now if you look properly, if you look, you'll see the extension is not MOV before it was QuickTime. Let's go over everything that we did in the video one last time. Okay, so the first thing we did was in our home.ts file, we had to um, cre we had to load in our plugin, video capture bus plugin. We capture the video using the options. We convert the path into something that can be digested by the uh, file plugin. We get the blob. We set the file data with the blob. And then inside of my upload uh, hook, we take the, as you can see, if file data changes, then we call the upload. We check to see if it's a file or a blob. We're using blobs. We structure the extension and the file name properly. We named it to media, and then we do a put with files or with blobs. And then that looks like it pretty much covers it. All right. And we, eh, sorry, we check the loading progress, and then we see if we have progress, because my hook also returns progress. And then we stringify the results. So I hope that, um, you found this whole thing um, helpful. Um, please make sure that you like and subscribe to this video. Um, also check out the original blog post that I wrote, which talks about the hook that we're utilizing here. There's also a video that goes along with this that kind of gives you a little bit deeper background and hook since I didn't cover it here. Um, once again, thanks for stopping by. Please make sure you like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.